hello everyone welcome to the next tutorial of protector so in this tutorial we will do the setup of it so first of all we need a browser where our test execution will run so you can download any browser i have downloaded a uh, chrome version after that you need to install the node.js so node.js because uh, as we have seen in the previous tutorial that protector is based on the webdriver.js and for javascript webdriver.js has the two bindings selenium driver and webdriver.js so both of and both of them are dependent on the node.js right so we need to install the node.js so you can go to uh, chrome and uh, you can go to write this site node.js.org and download right so where you can see that uh, it has the downloaded versions so as per your operating system and your operating uh, bits you can download the version so like i have the 64 bit windows version so i will i can download the exe or as well i can download the msi so i can download the msi so if you click on that it will ask you the location where you can download your version so uh, basically i have already downloaded it so i won't do it again so i have downloaded the node.js uh, on my desktop so this is my msi now click on this and this will ask you the setup so now click next now accept the term go to next now i will put it as uh, default so next uh, now as you can see that it will install the uh, all four things so node.js runtime then node package manager then online documentation shortcuts and then it will also add to the path so uh, this is fine and it will install the core node.js runtime which is node.exe right so go to next and install this so it will take some time to install so it is doing all the installing process mm, copying new file or doing something something so again let's wait for some time to complete it yep so now it is it has completed the node.js setup wizard so just click on finish yep so whether your node.js has been installed or not so for that you can go to the cmd and you can check whether it has been installed or not so just give the npm not package manager minus mine hyphen version so if it gives you the version it means it has been installed so now we'll be installing the protector using the node package manager so just give the command uh, we will install this as globally so when you install uh, protector using globally it means you can access it from anywhere right so it's always better to uh, install this using globally or minus e so just so it will take some time to install it okay so now protector has been installed so as you can see it has installed the jasmine then as well as the selenium web driver then it has giving the uh, 2.4.1 version of jasmine and web driver manager 10.2.1 right so uh, we can also check the uh, version that what version it has installed so okay there is a mistake protector then hyphen hyphen version so it will give you the version that it has installed the 4.2.4.0.2 version right as well as let's check out the list what all has it installed so uh, it has the list of protector then it has installed the jasmine and then selenium web driver 253.3 then web driver manager 10.2 and so basically it has all 
install the all the related things which you will need in the testing uh, next thing we need to install is jdk so uh, go to the chrome and first you can download the jdk so basically i have the another tutorial of jdk uh, in which it has explained the all the things how you can download then how you can install then how you can set up the path and all the things right so you can just go to the download and you can install the versions as per your need so uh, as per your operating system like if you have the windows 64 or 32 bit then you can download the 1.7 or latest 1.8 version right so i'm not going to download it again uh, i think you all know how to download it, it. so uh, i have downloaded this uh, on my on my desktop so this is jdk uh, which i have downloaded so if i click it and if i click it yes so it says that you have already installed it so would you like to install it so i say no because i have already installed it so uh, to verify that whether it has installed or not you can go to your uh, my computer then program file then in java and if you see these two folders it means it is installed right and the another way you can check uh, that you can go to the cmd command prompt and then you can uh, if you type the java c and if it shows you all the options then it means we are fine you also need to set the path of this so uh, for that what you can do uh, you can go to the properties and then environment variable and you can set the path here right so if you go to edit and go to the end and just paste this path right or till the bin so by this way you can set the path so i have already done this so i won't do this again uh, you can see the complete jdk tutorial which i have already completed so just close it so now we have installed the jdk we have installed the npm uh, node manager then protector right and now we'll install the or we'll update the web driver manager and right web driver manager and then update so it will take some time so web driver manager has been updated uh, so it has updated the chrome driver so now uh, it is saying that it is up to date as well as it has uploaded or it has updated the latest selenium server standalone browser right so uh, we are done with this steps and now we'll start this web driver right so what we can do uh, web driver manager and then start so now the selenium server is up and running so if we see from the starting we have installed the node.js then using the node package manager we installed the protector so when we installed the protector then uh, implicitly web driver manager also installed as well as the jasmine installed after that we updated the web driver manager and that also updated the chrome driver because by default uh, web driver manager used the chrome as a browser so it's, it also updated the chrome driver manager and then it updated the selenium so now selenium server is up and running so now we want the client right or we want the code that we want to execute so uh, by default when we installed the protector it also gives us the example uh, so we can say like sample examples right so for that uh, we need to go into that location so <clears throat> uh, it also it basically installed is the app data and in app data if you go to roaming then after that uh, you can go to npm that we have installed so let me go to npm yes so this is we have recently installed then go inside that and uh, now when you install this protector it creates this directory node module 
right so inside node module it creates the a protector then inside that it has all the things right so uh, then in the example so this is our example so basically it creates the two files then it has the one configuration file and second it has the example so a configuration file is basically a configuration which we will use to execute the uh, command and this is the code where we have written all the code so this is a basic example of which all which protector gives us already so uh, we need to give we need to go till this location so now i need to open another command prompt to go to this location so let's just start it so go to the uh, i am still in the, the i mean user location so now go to the app data and then it has the go to the roaming roaming then okay doing something wrong mm -hmm. okay so one by one go to the roaming then go to the npm then go to the npm modules okay this is cd not yeah so now go to the protector okay and after that now now it is showing that it has the um, okay so once protector is there then we need to go to examples okay so now again check okay so it has the con file and now run this file through command protector and conf.js because this is a configuration file so when you hit that command it will hit the example.json client will execute and as you can see that in browser uh, it is opening the angular.angular.js.org so basically in example.js uh, this program has been written to operate and to execute the program so it is doing all the operations and it is checking whether the uh, all the events are present or not so as you can see again it refreshed and yep so it said there three specs zero failure and finished in 28 seconds so if this screen shows it means we are fine so i think we have done all setup we have run the basic program and in the next session We'll check out the more details about Confort.js and Example.js. So thanks friends for watching the video and please subscribe and like the video. Thank you.